Hey everyone, I'm back yet again to do a tag video for you all this time. I am so behind on tags. I have about three or four that I've been meaning to do forever now, and I've recently been tagged in yet another one, so who knows when I'll get to doing all these. For now, I'm going to do one that I know I was tagged in weeks ago, and I need to just go ahead and do it, and that is the Leonardo DiCaprio book tag. This tag was created by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey, and I was tagged by Adriana from Perpetual Pages. I will leave both of those videos down below if you want to check those out. In this tag, all of the book questions are related to Leonardo DiCaprio in some way or another. I'm going to be reading the questions from my phone because I'm horrible and I didn't prepare in advance. I'm going to be going to these questions blindly without having any previous thought over them. So. Question one is Growing Pains, a book you read before it got famous slash hyped up or popular. And for that one, I'm gonna have to go with Death Note by Tsugumi Oba and Obata Takeshi. So when I talk about that I read this before it got hyped up, I mean more on booktube because about a year or two ago, it got really, really popular on booktube and a lot of people were reading it. Because when I initially read this, it was when it was not even completed yet. I had to read the majority of this online. I read this probably in like 2005, 2006, so quite a while ago. Question number two is Tobey Maguire or your favorite book best friends, Juliet and Kenji from the Shatter Me trilogy because it is one of the first and only best friendships between a guy and a girl where there is absolutely no romantic feelings towards one another it is purely platonic friendship between the two and I absolutely love that. It just portrays the reality that you can have friends of the opposite gender, not have any romantic feelings towards them, and I find their friendship to be beautiful. Question number three is Kate Winslet or your OTP. For that one, I chose not the one you're thinking of. Yes, Vin and Ellen are a beautiful couple together and I wouldn't pair them with anybody else. But I actually bring up this series because one of my absolute favorite OTPs right now is the relationship between Seized and Tindwill is... I think that's how you say her name. I don't know how you say her name. Seized and Tindwill are a beautiful relationship and the fact that it is not just purely sexual between them, that Tindwill was so long a breeder for their people that she basically doesn't want sex. And Seized being a eunuch can't really do it anyways. The fact that they absolutely still love each other is so beautiful to me and it definitely portrays more of a deeper meaning to love than just the sexual tension between characters. And I will never separate them. They are together. They are. Says Dwell. Tin Suede. Tin Zed. Tin Zed. Says Dwell. Says Dwell. Question number four is Titanic. A book that made you cry or emotionally upset if you don't cry. I'm gonna go more old school with this answer and say The Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling, the seventh and last book in the Harry Potter series. And the reason I say this one over any other one is because there has never been a book after this that has made me cry as hard or feel all the feels as hard as this one. And there was one that was a very close second and I almost answered with that one, but this one will forever be the most emotional roller coaster ride of feels that I have ever read. And I don't think that anything will ever make me feel the same way that this book made me feel when I finally got to read it. And so this will forever be the answer to this question. Question number five is Martin Scorsese, an author you will always buy their books no matter what. The answer to that is without words. I will just show you. Question number six is Victoria's Secret Models, a genre you will always go back to. Fantasy, 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 fantasy. Question number seven, Happy Mean Leo, a character that makes you smile. For that, I'm going to think outside the box and go with Naruto from the Naruto series by Masashi Kishimoto. And he is just such a funny character. He has a very positive outlook on life. Even when things are looking really grim and down for him, he 
always thinks positively. There are many, many reasons why he could hate everybody and hate life, and yet he still finds the good things in everybody's personality. So that's why he always manages to put a smile on my face. And I love him, so yes. Question number eight is every Leo character, or your favorite complex characters. And for this one, I'm going with Prince Magnus from the Fallen Kingdom series. He is definitely not a good guy, but not a bad guy either. And I am loving his character even more with each book. And he has a lot of dark demons in his past, but I think he's really trying his hardest to get through those and do better in his, at least for himself. He definitely thinks of himself more than he thinks of others, but I'm seeing a change. But he's had a lot of character growth in the last couple books, so I'm excited to see where he goes from there. And that is why I chose him as my favorite complex character. And then finally, number nine is Leonardo no Oscuro, or a book that doesn't get the recognition it deserves. And for this one, I chose the Seven Realms series by Cinda Williams Chima. I have heard a couple booktubers talk about this on their channel, but not a whole lot of people, so that just leaves me to believe it is not as popular as I want it to be, so I want it to be popular, so I want everybody to read this series. Fantastic, fantastic YA fantasy series, probably up there with like my top three. Everybody and their mother needs to read this now. Those are all the questions. As always, I didn't think ahead of time before thinking of people to tag, so look down below to see if you've been tagged in the description box. Thank you again, Adriana, for tagging me to do this video. It was a lot of fun, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!